Hi, I'm Mia. I'm a drug checking technician with Vancouver Coastal Health, and today we're talking about fentanyl test strips. Now, before testing a sample for fentanyl, make sure you have a clear working surface, free of any obstructions and anything that might absorb any spills if they should happen. Make sure you're wearing your appropriate PPE for the situation, which in this case is gloves. And if you're like me and you touch your face a lot, consider wearing a mask too. Let's begin. So to begin with, the amount of drugs that we're gonna be using for our test is about half a grain of rice, or about one milligram. Rule of thumb is if you're, you'd miss the amount, it's probably too much. Especially for stimulants such as MDMA or methamphetamine, Having too much in your sample can cause false pauses with the test strips. They're very, very sensitive, so you don't need to use very much. For our water, this is just room temperature tap water. It's about a shot glass worth, 30 milliliters or an ounce. If you have access to hot water, even better. Pour in your water, making sure not to splash it or spill it. And give your mixture a good mix. Some samples may not dissolve right away, so make sure to stir it until at least most of it has. In this case, this dissolves right away, so we're done. Before opening up your test strip package, inspect for any visible defects, any rips, tears, or punctures anywhere on the package. These strips are sensitive to humidity, so we want to use them right after they've been opened. Make sure it hasn't been stored in freezing temperatures and that it hasn't expired yet. Also make sure it's actually a fentanyl test strip, as there are different kinds. Open up your test strip, holding it from the blue tab here. Check to make sure it says fentanyl as well on it. Holding it from anywhere else can invalidate the test, so make sure to hold it just from here. When you're ready, dip the strip in just past the wavy lines up to the blue line here. Wait for about 10 seconds or so, until the water has been creeping up the middle of the strip, as you can see here. Once that happens, you can set the strip down. Set it somewhere where it's not going to contaminate a surface. On top of your cup is fine. To interpret the test, these strips are the opposite of a pregnancy test. Two stripes, as you can see here, is a negative test result. One stripe like this is a positive result. The lines can be very faint, so make sure to look at them under a bright light. It can take to up to two minutes for the test strip to fully resolve, but don't read it after about 10 as they no longer are valid. When the test is complete, make sure to dis dispose of any water or remaining sample in an amnesty bin or a deterra pouch if you're on site or in an absorbent medium such as kitty litter if you're off-site or at home. You want to avoid splashing any of the contaminated water in any sink or anywhere else that it might come into contact with other things. Make sure to wipe down your work area with alcohol swabs or cavi wipes if you, if you have access to them. Make sure to dispose of any used materials and wipe down your tools as well. This test is complete. There's only a few simple steps to follow, but this procedure can save lives. Thanks for watching.